Alright, so Aussie, I would like for you to pull me a perception check. Actually, what's your pass oh. perception first? Eleven. Starting off with Yeah, roll me a perception check. As whenever we last left off, uh, a good part of you were at Gilfull's Manor, um, dealing oh. with the situation. Aussie went off and well, is. I did assume that someone was going to come with me, but apparently that just never happened. But I'm fine with it. Yeah, Riker sat down immediately and said, I gotta go to sleep. I ditched the scene because I can't get involved. Lies. Right. Okay, I also told the scene because he didn't. All wear the mask. So, um. I'll see on your way to go tell the guild master you stopped and you told a guard about what happened and to go find a guy in purple and he will give him more details. You continued running off to go tell the guild master, which you let him know psychically, but he continued his performance and yes. let you know that he would talk to you afterwards. Yeah, and then I went and took the seat. Yes. Just um. Like up here. <laughs> All right. Um. I was gonna say what? I can go next. If you want me to? to see. I, I would because have enjoyed. Well, you were in purple, so. You guys are currently grouped up um, in the area, so what do you guys want to do other than Aussie? <clears throat> so, um, I guess I'll go first. So the guard is running in, right? But Riker's, like, sort of asleep. So Riker immediately jumps up, um, startled, and run starts, like, running over to the closest person. Who's the closest person to me? Uh, I <laughs> have it opened up, and I got it. Don't need Aussie. Uh, oh, no, I can't see anything. Oh, wait, bubble. Uh, give me a second. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I get up and I run over to Fine and uh, Holden. Um, and I say, there's something coming below us. What? I just, I just repeat myself. There's something coming below us. Get out of here. And I just, like, run off. I uh, hop on my guardian hand and I just run off. Like I look, like I looked freaked the fuck out. Like, like I do not look like a healthy, happy person. Um, so I, I guess I see JJ running, or Alton running around. Sorry. Yep, he is currently looking around. Gilful, Chloe's wardrobe. Okay, I I like pass him and I say we got to get out of here. Something's coming. And then I run towards... Where's the door? I don't, I don't see a door. Uh, it just kind of goes off on either side. It's a long hallway. <coughs> Which way do we come in? Uh, you came off from the uh, right-hand side. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. yeah then I go this way. Um, so, yeah, I run off here. Do I meet the... Do we find the guard while we're running out? Yeah, the guard, as you are running out, you're going down the stairs, you see a guard bursting through the door... Uh, looking around, he looks to you, man in purple. What's going on, sir? Um, it, it looks like so. There was an attack. The 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 caretaker of this house uh, turned into something else and attacked us. I and like I like have like scars and like rips on my face and stuff. And um, I, I say, um, th but there's something else coming. Something big from below the city. What are you on about? I and I, I look at him, and then I I say, "Do you know anything about a dragon?" What do you mean? A dragon in the city of any kind? They're all extinct. Something big is coming to us. I don't... I I think it's something like a dragon, but I don't know exactly what. I can feel it, though. And, like, I, I'm obviously very freaked out. Like, distraught. <laughs> Written across my face. Oh. I'm gonna have to hold y'all here for questioning. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I, I will. I will wait here if you want me to. But alert all the guards. 
there's something big coming. Just come out on the uh, courtyard and stand there. So yes, that's I do that. I don't know if anybody else does after they're hearing this. Sure, I'll be just confused and going along with whatever he says at this point. Uh, yeah. I mean, guards are involved, so I've already had a bit of a run-in. Uh, as long as uh, is there a movement change? Uh, yeah. one second. God. Um, so I look at the guard, and is he, is he like, walking off? Uh, he is currently running off. He looks like he's... He glances back every now and then, um, making sure that you're still there, but he seems to know where another goat is and is going, making so, a beeline for them. Like, just before he leaves, I tell him, like, 600 feet! 600 feet? Uh, look 600 what? feet below. Mm. And then, like, as, as it goes down, I go, 550! 500! It's very close! And I'm, like, just shouting at him at this point. He just continues running. Guys, and I look around, and it just... Do any of you know any kind of healing arts? Do you hear Aussie in the distance? I do! <laughs> I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the current group as I'm around. Klaus, I have a question. Um, I'll... Actually, uh, Raikou, I need you all a perception check real quick. Oh, good god. I mean, not, uh, Raikou, I meant, uh, Holden. Uh, yeah. okay, give me one second. Okay. Just have to open up my character sheet, give me one second. Very <laughs> crappy silver computer. Sorry, again, like I said. While we're waiting. Uh, JJ, no, by the way. Damn it. With my telepathy, am I able to, like, read the, like, what people are thinking around me? Um, it's. Whenever you connect with something with your telepathy, it makes your presence known. It doesn't quite. Like, there's a connection that's definitely known. You don't get to, like, freely read their mind. It's. You send to them no what you want, and they send to you what they want. There's no... Okay. Yeah. Do they know that it's me, or do they just know that it's something? They just know it's something. Okay. Like, you can't, okay, like, so... get active and make the voice inside your head sound like their voice and be like, Hey, what are your friends? Okay, so what did you need? Yeah, okay. There's a perception. Yep. Uh -huh. And hit the button. Ugh, uh, you notice that Alton is trying to slip something in your pocket. Oh. Just ignore it. Um. Just gonna. I'm just gonna grab his hand and I'm gonna just gonna grab his hand and I'm gonna look at him like, what are you doing? I'm giving you the tuning fork. Oh. It does appear okay. to be the tuning fork. Okay. I'm just gonna let go of his hand to just continue it. Just let him continue. Okay, yeah. That's all I needed to do with that. But now everybody knows it's there. Uh, I do want to state that the, um, where Aussie went, you guys can actually see him. There's not too much in the way between you and that him. <laughs> it's about 200, maybe 300 feet away. I love that concept. It's like you just see me sitting calmly in the, some stands listening to music while you are all freaking out. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> while he's freaking out, I'm, not, I'm relatively calm. But I. Klaus, I do have a question. Yes. Could I possibly channel my siphon into him as a form of healing, or is that not something that I can. That is not something you can do. Okay, never mind then. 
<clears throat> and I look to the group around me and I say, do whatever you can to prepare. It's coming. And it's closer. Okay, I this is... So, okay. <laughs> can I see them? Yeah, you, no, uh, really, really far as away, you right? kind of just, like, glancing around, <laughs> you see them, like, Greco just, like, uh, softly shouting at them. Can I, like, wave them over? Be like, like, do the what the fuck, what's up sign? Like, you know, raise hands. Like, what? Gym check, maybe? No. Uh, um, so it's easily you... noticeable. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I, I just look at him and I go, um... I like tap my wrists, like tap my wrists together, like a like a handcuffs or like a you know, like obviously like manacles of some kind. <clears throat> like you know, if you tap both of your palm and your wrists together, like what does that mean to you? Like you know. So he Person? makes this motion at you. What? <laughs> yeah. I tap both of my. I put my arms up and I tap both of my wrists together. Until you see, and then I, I drop them, and then I start, I keep freaking out to everyone next to me. I cast Magic Stone on my, a few of my, um, the, the, whatever I got, the stones or whatever. All right. The, what the hell are they called? Uh, the... Sling bullets. The thing? Yes, a sling. I was able to get a sling, right? Yeah. Or not. Okay. And then I, I then I, I start mumbling a spell. Preparing. Um... And I say, I look around me and I say, prepare your most damaging spell. This is going to hurt. Mage armor. And I look around. Sorry, well. Do, do we see the guards coming back? or like? Uh, no, not, he like... is not back at the moment. Well, in that case, I'd probably uh, come just... back into the house at this point. So you're running oh. back in? Well, no, I just kind of like ran out, was home, hiding out to see what would happen. I see no guards yeah, coming. We're... So I'm coming back we're... inside. We're on, like, the outside pavilion or whatever? Like, the little, like, I don't know, whatever you describe, Klaus. The, uh, it's basically the like a stone garden that's in front of his house. Yeah. So, so we're right in front of the house. So, but, and if you come over here, like, I, like, immediately tell you, like, get prepared, most damaging spell, it's coming. It's close. Does anybody feet. want to do anything at the moment? I don't know if I have anything that could, I... No, I, like... I have nothing. Can I, like, sign if they want me to come over there? Just kind of, yeah, like, sure. you point I mean, at yourself, I... and then you point over there, and then you just kind of, like, shrug? Yeah. yeah. And I, I wave you down, like, I, like, pull my hand motion, like, quickly. I guess you I... pull your hand quickly. And yes. what? My Describe direction. things better, because I tap manacles together. I pull my hand. This means nothing. Yeah. I, he like, makes I, like, very my badly made you. gestures at you. <laughs> I put my hand up towards you, I curve my hand inside, and I pull. What he, he makes the, the come here he waves gesture. his hand towards like... you in a come over here manner. Like, it's kind of okay, like I'll, a wave. I'll start I would going just, over there. I was just about to say, I would like to cut in here and just kind of scream, Get up here! <laughs> Alright. Down here. Um, He's up. Um, I'm not. Yeah. So, fine, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm riding on top of my hand, and I have Firebolt ready. Right. Um, just as a reference for everybody, um, just because it's been a week, Fine and Riker, you are both very heavily bleeding. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that, but uh, there's nothing I can do, only cast, um, the, the Fiendish Vigor, so that's what I did. Oh, actually, do I have a healing potion? I don't. No, I, don't. Um, I almost have one. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, I, I have a question, Klaus. The hex, is is that why I sent it? Or is it is it the point that you made me use last week? It is the point I made you use. Because I did keep hex on it. So do I sense anything with my hex? You or do is not it, like, sense anything with your hex. Broken? So the connection is broken. Okay. The connection is not um, broken, you just do not sense oh, it's not. Oh, wow. Um, oh god, that scares me more. Oh god. Holy shit! Okay, um, yeah, I, I just prepare. Like I, I, I don't know what else to do. I just tell everybody to get prepared. Um, tell me when Aussie gets here if he gets here first. Aussie, you begin moving over there. Do you move quickly or do you just take a normal space? I mean, they seem panicked. Oh yeah, Riker's like jumping around furiously, like telling people to like. I'll go quickly. 
Okay. But like, act nonchalant. <laughs> Quickly move through the crowd. Alright, yeah. you uh, begin kind of like somewhat hurried pace moving over. A few seconds pass um, as you arrive. And just uh, as you come up, say, you hear screams yeah, coming before, from below. Just before like any, like it gets to 100, I say 100. And then I look up to everyone and I say 50. When I'll see 50 what? Yes, as it, as it gets to 50, you begin hearing screams from below. I wanted to cast Mage Armor on Edward. Okay. And so I look at I look at Aussie and I say, "Something. It's big." I, and I, I li- he like closes his eyes, looks at you, and says, "I think it's a dragon." And what? He opens his eyes. Dragons are extinct. Mm. I, and he looks down again and closes his eyes again and says, "I can feel it. It's it's, it's there." I and cast- it's like more screaming. The, there I is very loud screams me. coming from below. So I I look at Aussie and I say, "Can you heal me?" Um, yes. On a midnight summer dream, I arrive. And I cast Healing Word. <laughs> At. How much health? Uh, how are you? You're basically dead. I'm like 3 health, yeah. Other than my camping. Speed. I'll cast. Yes, less. 14 health. 7? Or 14? 14. So, uh, uh, Fine might be down on health too, but I don't know. Do you um, also need Healing Vine? Yeah, I'm pretty low. I'm running out of spell slots! Yes. On a midnight summer's dream! <laughs> I'm pretty sure Faith and Steve's not gonna so, help me on this one. So, Klaus, is it still 50 feet? Uh, it is now about 30 feet. It seems to have slowed drastically. Oh, is God. it? So, can I, I see Is through? it, like, directly below me? Or is it, like, You feel it coming off corner? in almost all directions. Can I say, uh... uh from, like, lower than you. Can I pull out my... We're standing on fabric. Yes. Yeah. Right. Can I pull out my sword and... Sword! Oh. Sword! Ah. So great the, sword! The stick quickly shifts, and it turns into a great sword in your hand. With the weight of it, it kind of, like, falls to the ground a little bit, as you weren't quite prepared for it. Okay. Oh, see, I have something for you. I'm busy! I try to cut a hole through the thing so I can see through. Cut a hole I through the floor. All right, give me a, a attack with a greatsword. It's like hard enough to hold buildings. Is it really just gonna have like nine? <clears throat> it is a floor. Do not tell me he can miss a floor. It, it's it's a floor, so it's an AC of five. So you still Yay! hit it. And because the city of cloth does have vulnerability to slashing and fire damage, that ends up being twenty four damage. Yes. So. <laughs> Glad I took a step back. As it uh, it begins to cut through the ground and the floor kind of moves downwards a little bit, and then you feel it kind of shaking a little bit as it opens up. You see purple tendrils moving through the crowds of people that are running away from it. There are dozens of them slowly moving in towards the center of the city. As it goes, it seems to grab a few people and just knock them off into the water. Let's leave! What the hell so is I, that? I, I try to get back away from it. Like, I, like, back up immediately. Like, the moment I see it. So are we, like, on the bottom level now? Or, like, where are we? No, you are still, are still standing in front of, um, Gilful's house. And we... So we see it tearing through, the, like, the crowd. 20 feet, by the way. Okay. So I, I immediately start running away. Like, I, like, immediately bolt. Whatever yeah, direction is away. Yeah, there were, like, banners that, like, flow away. off of the higher levels of the city, right? Yes. Right. Like, there are banners that flow from the high levels of the city, but these aren't something that reaches down to the lower levels. The apps, uh, okay. like, oh. even though the bottom level and the next level up are only 50 feet apart, each level above that is significantly more <clears> distance. I I start running in the opposite direction of whatever it's coming from. Or if it's, like, one direction, then I just run that way, like, a, the opposite way, and then I just go. You mainly and... sense it coming from the northeast, where the closest edge of the cloth is. Yeah, so I run, I immediately run the other way. Like, I, I bolt the other way. If anybody follows me, I don't care. Like, he just Yeah, I'm run. following you. Yeah, I follow. And I also go, whip! Right, it turns into a whip. And I just put it on the side. 
Wait. I yelled, does anyone else know Featherfall? No! <laughs> Let's just get to the... Yep. Wait, 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 fine, you can fly on your hand, right? Let yeah. me shift you over to the proper map, and I want to know where you guys are running to. Uh, I'm just running anywhere, but I'm putting Seth in my backpack, and I'm putting uh, my strings on uh, Edward and Aussie. Yeah. Alright, All so... Right. Quick press. Uh, as you guys are at Guildford's house... You feel it coming in from, like, around this. That's the closest ones. However, you feel it coming from all edges of the city. Honestly. So I, so yes. I run towards this. Immediately to the vortex. Yeah, like, I, I run directly towards the vortex. Just go. Um, I'm and every guard, every guard I see, or any person that looks at all combat able, like, I say, like, like, danger! <laughs> like, and I just run past. Uh, you do see, as you are actually running out now, the guard that you got before seems to be hearing the screams from below and has grabbed a few other guards and they're currently heading down to the swells. Okay, yeah, then I, that, I, we run right, right over there. Or at least I do. <laughs> I'm running directly toward it. Uh, does everybody run that way? Toward yes. the things? No, for the, the down. Vortex, the, okay. Vortex. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what else will do. I'm just following them, but while we're running, uh, I want to say something to Aussie. Aussie, um, yes, I have something for you, and I take and out. And also, the... as you are saying this, Alton, I need you to roll a athletics check as you are the slowest one. Uh, oh god! <laughs> oh, if I have to, I, I would the... pick him up and run. I Can the... I like I grapple him with my whip and like pull him in? Oh, he's like a purple tendril darts across the ground and grabs Alton's leg. It is beginning oh, to move him towards the edge of this. Can I go? Um, I'm I grabbing take out my whip. Over there. Uh, as it's pulling me away, I take out the piece of paper for the swan and I hand it over to Aussie. Quick question: I Is there any iron powder lying that. around? Yeah. Any what? Um, iron powder. Uh, no, you do not see any laying around. Crap! All right. Uh, he said it was a tentacle grabbing him. Yes. Can I try to grab him with my whip? Uh, yes, you can. Like, give can me I a. Stab it with my dagger? Give me an athletic. I'm gonna say an aqua. Actually, just give me a plain whip attack. Whip. Whip it, good. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna roll an opposed one with this. Ooh. And I'll be using Mage Hand to try and pull him out as well. Alright, so as the whip wraps around. Uh, him as the mage hand begins to grab onto him. I'll see. You feel a strong tug against it as um it wraps around his hand. The whip slowly begins to slide down his hand, not having too much of a grip left on it. Whatever is pulling him is extremely strong. Uh, I want to jump over to where the tendril is, and I'm gonna take a swing at it. Class with the quarter staff. All right, go ahead and make an attack. You are I not able to that. hit it as it grabs, as it continues pulling him along and quickly jokes him down into the water. Uh, can I take out my dagger and stab it? Yes, as you are um, being pulled along, go ahead and give me an attack with the dagger. Uh, alright, go ahead and roll the damage. Yeah. Alright, as you uh, hit it, there is a purple line of goo that trails along behind him as the tentacle is bleeding out. However, it continues pulling him down into the depths of the water. Like he's gone? It again? He's gone. Ow, you fucking... What does wow. the piece of paper say? No, it's the piece of paper that you had the swan on. Oh. I can see the <laughs> okay. Out. I thought, okay. Yeah, I looked in my uh, inventory, or my uh, stuff, and it just said Aussie's paper, so I wrote that down. And I gave it Yay. back. <laughs> so, I'm, like, Riker's still running. He's... <laughs> what just <laughs> lost it, do you remember? Yep. I go, dead. Nope, run. Just go I never let it anyway. I'm sorry, Alton, just run. 
All right, so you're heading towards where you can go down to the spells at. Yeah, like I'm just I'm yeah. I've been bolting there ever since like I felt that presence. All right, so uh, cool. fine, and Raiko, you get there first <laughs> as you didn't stop to try to help Alton. <laughs> nope. Um, I I I at that point I like if I get there I take a second to like look around the like vortex to see if there's any like danger around like the the exit. Uh, looking down, give me a perception check. Can I help? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll if you get a... Okay, you have advantage oh, yeah. on the check right here. He should have probably rolled. God damn. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Do you oh, yeah, see crowds nice. of screaming it's people down nice. there? There seem to be um, a few people that have descended just before you. Most of them look like they're guards. And then there are a few people trying to get up, but guards at the bottom are kind of shoving them off, keeping them out. Still? Uh, okay. So, Jump down. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I... Okay, like, I look behind me, and who, like, how far is everybody behind me? Uh, well, there's Fine that's right behind you. Edward <laughs> is maybe about 30 feet away. He's still moving over towards you. Here in a few seconds, he'll catch up. Um... Then behind him is Aussie, who is maybe about 50 feet further back, and then Holden, who is maybe about 50 feet further behind Aussie. So I wait till Aussie gets to me? Does anything happen? Like, does anything else happen? Uh, you still feel them closing in on all sides. Uh, they don't <laughs> seem to be going in at the middle of the city quite that fast. You feel the closest one is maybe about 200 feet away on this layer. Below, however, um, by the way, go ahead and make milk off another one of the points for that. Um, oh my god, this is not good. Below that, however, you feel the closest one at the bottom of this being maybe about 75 feet away from the uh, entrance to go up. So I, I then, uh, I say, it's getting even closer, and I jump into the vortex. You know, just as an afterthought, as a player, you know what? What spell would be really good right now? A rope trick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have gotten it then. We, I, I know it. we I could have a rope team trick. We already lost a team member. Let's just yeah, I'm already in the I'm already in I the follow. vortex. I followed him. Yeah, yeah I, I no, jumped in the no, moment in the he got to us. Alright. I would have waited for him to jump in then do that. I'm like sliding into the freaking vortex as I'm going down there. Why are y'all saying y'all lost the teammate? Y'all could have. You were dragged to the water. There's nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I tried. I did try, man. I I whipped you. In hindsight, I probably should use magic missile, but again. Oh shit! I could have used a spell. Well, I don't think it's that kind of thing. Anyway, we're down the vortex. The vortex. Yes, you. <laughs> continue going down. You see maybe about 50 people trying to get up. However, they are kind of pushing people off um, as they are still under orders to, no matter what, not let people come out. There have been a few gods that have left this post forever and are currently trying to fight off the tendrils that are uh, swiping people off. However, they don't seem to be doing any more effective um, than well, the peasants that are being just flung off. So I, I, I tell the guards, we must make it towards the exit. And then I just start running towards the entrance of the city. Following. Yeah, I think everyone's following to get away. And I try to, I try to use my, my ability, my sensing ability, to sense like where the tentacles are like more present or not present or less present or whatever um, to like bypass some areas. Even if I have to use more pull, I want to try to bypass as many areas with tentacles and like try to get through them instead of. You can. Like, you can get up to fifteen pull. The more pull you use, the more effective this will be. How much do you want to gain? Uh. Where it takes for us to get out of the city, like, will I seriously use that much to get out of the city? You can spend up to fifteen. Basically, fifteen is like there is almost no chance that you're going to encounter any. But you can spend any amount up to that to oh what is, increase your odds of not running into any. What is 15? How many CR is that that could be... 
taking a look at your thing real quick. Big question, could I cast Phantom Steed as we're running? I'm gonna say, yeah, between um, your time running and you might have started casting a little bit um, as you were going down because that takes a little bit of time. Um, as you hit the bottom, you are able to conjure your Phantom Steed. I'm writing okay. my hands uh, still. 15 to CR4. 15 is what? I'm sorry, you cut out. Uh, CR4. CR4, oh shit. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to use up to 15. Not 15, but up to 15. And I have 5 right now. Means I can use 10. Alright. So you use 10 to have the... I... Yeah, I, I am, like, eyes closed, concentrating this entire time. And, like, sensing, and then, like, I'll open my eyes and bolt towards a direction, and close my eyes, sense for a little bit. And I'm just, like, drawing heavily on the power of the patron. One of my patrons. Alright. So, you're going to give me a survival check with advantage add-on 10 at, after the fact. Which check? Uh, survival. survival. I'm sorry, you cut out again. Uh, you, okay. su you survival, you have advantage, and we're also going to add okay. on 10 after the fact. So just go ahead and roll oh, it with God. advantage. Pray, guys. Pray. Oh, thank God. Oh, 31. Oh. So, as you sense, you feel about 97 tendrils. Exactly oh. 97. So, I, yeah, I don't, um, I don't even tell anybody. I'm just, like, running and, like, concentrating. As, as you lead them through, you manage to not encounter any of them. Oh, wait, would there be any chance I could, like, try and grab someone as I'm riding on my horse? Uh, just, like, a random person? Oh, yeah, I want to save, to save at least one person. Uh, one person? I'm, like, the whole... Uh, Sorry. Give me a... Give me a perception or investigation check to kind of, like, get a feel of the people around you to see who all you would want to grab. Unless you... Like, there are a few uh, children that are moving about... Um, there's not any okay. distinction. You can reach out, pretty much grab somebody, and they won't resist you if you put them on the horse that seems to be going very fastly out. Yeah, I'm going to rage out and just grab anyone. Okay, roll well, a 1d4. Whole... Yeah. Wow. I look over to... One. You managed to grab a child. Every like, time I, I see... Kid. Every time I see, like, a bunch of people, I'm just like, Danger! Get out! And then, like, just they shouting know that, and dumbass. running. Riker, I don't think like, they've caught on. Riker, what about the stuff in the chests? I need my what focus, chest? man. All, all your stuff. I'm just saying. Wait, I have all my stuff with me. What are you talking about? Everyone else's. I, what? what? Yeah, Riker, what it's, the 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 it's, it's on the sand. We need to get to the sand. Okay, just checking, fine! Um, Edward, so as you were on the very fast horse, um, Raikou did guide you part of the way through, however, on your horse you saw an opening, you continued moving onwards, uh, well, avoiding the tendrils along the way. You are currently at the gate. I wish I was faster! Are there any guards at the gate? Uh, there are no guards at the gate, they all seem to have left and went inward <laughs> to try to fight off whatever this is. Okay, in that case, I'm, like, trying to find my chest first. Uh, give me a investigation. Can I say with it? Uh, I guess not. Oh wait, could the kid help me? Uh, yeah, the kid will... As you say what you're looking for, he is going to... I got 19. Alright. And he... It doesn't matter, but he would have given you advantage, but you managed to find it. Are they locked? Uh, they are not locked. Okay. Alright, I reach in and grab my dagger and arcane focus. Uh, fine, level 2. What? For your thing. Just yeah. out of curiosity, is there a box that looks quite nice? I'd also like to say I'm also ra opening random things and just grabbing what I can while I wait for the others to show up. All right. Um... Can't we do that though? Because aren't they like magically sealed or something? Hold like, on. Like, I would magic? like for you to roll me a perception check. Paradon. Caradon. Me. Caradon. 
Uh, why would you do that to me? Alright, as you walk along the uh, s- almost snow-like sand, you feel yourself being loached outwards as you fall onto the sandy beach. You hear the screams and cries of people. Um, as you look up, you see the gate to Althos, the City of Cloth, as it's slowly rising and falling. However, it seems to be dipping a little bit, almost as if it's starting to be pulled into the water. You see someone on a slightly transparent horse that looks like the descri- description of one of the ones that you have been given. Mm. I'll wait. Right. Uh, they seem to be going through the chest. Um, Edward, you managed to find your chest and anybody else's who... They have your chest pretty close together as you got there okay. right at the same time. Can I just yeah, say if there's a particularly I I nice box? Uh, in a <laughs> second, whenever you manage to get there, because you guys are significantly slower than him. All right. Oh, right. Say, is there any, like, anyone else near the gate within 30 feet? Uh, there are a few people that are running out screaming. Um, as you look around, a lot of the people seem to have already been out as... Well, it seems to slow down a lot inside of there. There weren't nearly as many people as there were in the festival, because a lot of them seem like they were out here for the effigy bon- burning. <laughs> Alright, as long as I know the kid's safe and I got our stuff, I'd probably run back inside and try and save anyone else I could. No. Oh. I guess until the group shows up. If I see the group, then I'm just gonna go back with them. Is there any way that I could possibly move faster out of the city? Uh, give me an athletics check. Oh, hey, look. Look at that. You're gonna trip! <laughs> Knowing my luck, I would. Whoa! Hey. You trip over a giant diamond! <laughs> Runners high! I just heard the camera snap. <laughs> uh, 